actually live on like a farm. Yeah, this is amazing. And apples and apples and horses and chickens and all sorts of. And how far is it? So you said this about 25. Well, I don't know. Um, We're about 45 minutes east of Vancouver. Okay. Miles? Kilometers? I have no idea. Yeah, we're out in the rural area. The rural, rural area. area. The rural area. All right, well, show me your shack. Watch your stuff. All right. Oh, we go down this rabbit hole. I'm here with the world famous Brent Ray Fraser. BrentRayFraser.com, by the way, P.S. I'm here in what you call the asylum. Si well, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> silo art studio. Silo. Silo is. <laughs> I mean, it could be like an asylum More because like a sanctuary. A sanctuary. How did you? Okay, we're gonna back up here because first of all, he is an amazing artist. He is world renowned. I started painting when I was three. Like finger painting, and uh -huh. ever since then I haven't stopped. I finger painted no. when I was three no. once. Yeah, it was it was a it was a um, train wreck, but that's okay because that's why I do what I do and you do what you do. I have a degree in fine arts. It's right there, actually. There's so it's got some duct tape on there and, and uh, a couple scribbles. Are those your finger paintings? Uh, yep. I'd like to say it's other body parts, um, and I almost want to take it out and do that. Yeah. But. Yeah, so I heard that you're famous for painting with your dick. Yes, my penis and I, we travel the world, we make art, we spread joy. You know, we were talking earlier about um, a penis pump. Apparently you've turned on all of your male friends onto penis pumps. Is that like how you grew your tool or? My tool grew naturally. Oh, uh, okay. A lot, of, uh, a lot of tender loving care. The penis pump is more of a, it's, the best way of putting it is, is business and then there's pleasure. Well, the penis pump is business. So if I need to get my brush <laughs> to, um, to the level of uh, brushery that's needed to make artwork um, and to be able to like actually draw with them. Right, uh, totally. Without physically arousing myself, I use the pump. It's instant. I could put them on, sit there, talk, do, 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 and look down. Oh, ready to go. Let's make some art. I teach you this stuff in art school. <laughs> they, they definitely don't. And trial and error, I retired four times from penis painting for several different reasons. Uh -huh. um, all stemming back, no pun intended, to the male organ and how it functioned as a human being, as, oh, as an yeah. active sexual um, human um, being. Human being. And by the way, guys, this is not a this is not a fucking joke. Like he really does paint with his penis. Tell me a little bit about your asylum. Am I saying it right? Silo. Silo. God, why am I thinking of like a mental institution? I don't know. Because that's where I belong, but um, <laughs> we won't go. It's not about me. It's about you today. You live in this silo. Now tell me, how did, this st how did you get here? And why don't you live in a normal house? And not a bad thing. Like this is totally fucking cool. It's like you live in a clubhouse. It is a clubhouse, but I want to know, like, how did you get here? Uh, so I finished my degree and I wanted to continue making art. Living in Vancouver at the time, uh, finding studio space down there is very expensive. I was inspired by Jackson Pollock. He used to paint in a barn and that way you can be messy. My work is very like, um, it's very splatter. There's a lot of splatter hey, with my work and um, I like to be able to you know, have to clean up after myself, which is always a good thing. But I came out looking for space in a barn. I came looking for barn space. I found a silo. It was empty. It was a tin can. He said, I'll give it to you for a couple hundred bucks a month. I'll put in some lights, maybe an electrical socket. And I went from there. And it's perfect for putting up a bunch of paintings all at once. Mm -hmm. So you can work in a circle and you create um, series. So my, the work that I create over the years is more like, uh, it's based off of series. So I don't just do landscapes or this or that. I'm a very eclectic artist. I like to paint everything from, from landscapes to portraits to, to, to dogs to, to abstract paintings to penis paintings to Nussack paintings to all sorts of right. everything painting. I love, I'm, I'm a big fan of abstract art. I don't know, like I said, I don't know much about art, but I really love any 
anything that's funky and unique. Like I was looking at this pole over here, you've got a bunch of zip ties, and that was like the first thing my eyes went to, and I started petting it because it so just. So that's art. That's a that's an installation piece. That's more decorative. It's there's um, there's four thousand three hundred eighty seven zap straps on there. It took me nine hours and nine hours and twenty seven minutes of sitting there. I really like your hair, like by the way. Blonde, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> I'm gonna say something, and do not get offended because this is a massive compliment from okay. an American girl. You look like a Ken doll. Yeah, you look like a you look like a Ken doll, but like a Ken doll with like okay. Anyways, it's starting to get weird in here. No, I'm like I will get I will take things from zero to weirdo. How do you fit these ideas in your? Do you just wake up one day and I'm not creative at all. I like to do interior design. That's about it. And I can't ever finish a project, so I start like eight thousand of them. Do you focus on one project, one project only, or are you like here's no, a project? I'm all over the place. Yep. That's why I have two studios now, and I just try and bounce back and forth. So you don't get bored? I write things down so that I don't forget them, and then I go through the list of things, uh -huh. and I achieve my goals. I want you to show me some of um, the things in here that I wish the audience could see, like your, muff your muffin tin obsession. <laughs> I would call it an obsession, would you? Um... Yes. Or an infatuation. Um, addiction. Addiction. Yeah. Okay. I'm, um, yeah. We're going to go see the Enchanted Forest. What do you call your new place? Art Shack. Art Shack. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so this next studio we're going to is like your new humble abode, right? So you used to live in the other one. Now that's just a workspace. And now we're coming to here, yes, the Garden Wonderland. of Eden. This is Wonderland. Come on in. So cool. <laughs> so now we're in, oh my God, I love, this is my favorite part when I walk in. Did you make that yourself too? Everything yes. in here you've made. Why do I keep asking that question? Like, did you make that yourself too? This is inside my brain. Okay, I can see that. the outside. Yeah, I kind of feel like this would be like inside your brain. What are these animal pieces you have over here? Like these so these skulls. are my tributes. Uh, these are just bones and skulls that I found at thrift stores that I want to revitalize as art these are sculptures that I make that's very cool and my favorite piece of art is this no. your chainsaw there's a kind of a combine which is a tribute to Rauschenberg taking a, several different elements and recreating them into making one work of art and this one's kind of like I don't know oh wait you have a cuckoo clock cuckoo clock uh, I have to see this cuckoo clock. You must show me this cuckoo clock. I'm, 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 oh my god. I'm obsessed with cuckoo clock. An all white one. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. And then you also have a gym. Yeah, you have gym. to show me uh, your, your lumberjack logs. Because yeah. you got to like pump that iron to keep that body. So. Holy shit. How heavy are, um. Okay, I'm taking it. Oh, oh, how? Oh my god! Oh my god, these are so heavy! Holy shit! Lumberjack version. That's exactly what it is. Mobility, flexibility, CrossFit. Oh my god! This is like... Oh my god, you're like the coolest person on earth. Oh my god, I really... I'm, I'm so thankful that you let me come here because this is... And I love the unicorn. I just, I, when I'm talking to you, I can't even be in this room because it's like, I love the th and the, and then I'll be in the middle of a conversation and I'm already like a squirrel. I can't even, I can't even, like this is, this is amazing. But anyways, thank you so much. Make sure you guys visit Brent Ray Fraser com and commission him because his work's amazing. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Make sure you subscribe and come back for more.